Now I will go into the specifications of the data science and the computer science curriculum at this school, which are two of very popular majors, and going over the differences between them and giving you a little bit more information that is kind of under wraps, but is very vital to understanding what your pathway will look like at the school to make an informed decision. So the computer science curriculum at the school has been acclaimed and has created many industry ready professionals, which has made it a very popular major, which the school is taking into consideration now. But because of the fact of its popularity and that it is in the College of Letters and Sciences, many students have the opportunity to take the courses and get to see if it is something that they are willing to study for four years. The computer science curriculum is competitive. The environment is competitive, but it is that of collaboration. So the requirements once you are in the school of College of Letters and Sciences and you now have decided you want to become a computer science major or you applied into the school as a computer science major, you are required to take three essential classes, CS 61A, CS 61B, and CS 70. And these classes, respectfully, are known to be the classes that teach you algorithms and structures of interpreting coding and then also understanding data structures, data storage, and discrete mathematics in the logic of computation. The unique part of the UC Berkeley method of teaching computer science is that you will never be learning a language. Nobody will ever be referring to, I learned Java, I learned Python. It goes from high level programming to low level programming. So you get a deeper and deeper understanding of how the computer works throughout each of these classes and courses. As mentioned before, UC Berkeley does hold uphold a system of weeder classes. And this is particularly prevalent within the College of Letters and Sciences because students who uh, want to take computer science have to show their dedication to the degree and that they are going to be able to keep up with the curriculum. So those three classes are essential because you will need to get a 3.3 GPA overall within these classes, which is the equivalent of a B plus average within these three classes and taking some lower division classes and general requirements with an overall GPA of 3.0 in order to petition to get the major. And you will have to be showcasing your involvement with computer science and how you are going to be a unique UC Berkeley alumni in the field and how you are going to contribute to the field. And that's gonna be showcased by the extracurriculars you do, the additional projects that you do. One of the prefaces of the computer science curriculum at UC Berkeley is that if you read the CS61A website, for example, is this is not an introductory class. And I wanted to elaborate on what that actually means. So these introductory classes are not meant to teach you just the syntax of a language. So think of it like English. When we are trying to learn the uh, grammar of English, it is very almost mathematical because there is a specific way you can do it. So these classes are not going to be geared to learning the basics, the grammar, the syntax, the vocabulary. Those will be uh, things that you will learn and you will pick up and you will see for yourself that these are things that anybody can pick up. But the unique part about the UC Berkeley computer science curriculum is that it is going to teach you how to actually use these tools to create something new and valuable and really teaching you how to think about it in a unique way. In addition, the computer science curriculum does require you to take electrical engineering classes. This is because once you enter your upper division classes in the computer science curriculum, you are also encouraged to take electrical engineering classes, even if you are not electrical engineering major. So the introductory classes to electrical engineering and computer science will be part of your curriculum as a computer science student at Berkeley. Data science is a up and coming field. The data science curriculum is meant to be interdisciplinary. So one of the unique things about it is that you can create a concentration within the major. And there are 
about 30 different concentrations from applied mathematics to cognition to social welfare that are open to you to choose from. The data science curriculum requires that you take both computation classes and statistic classes. So the first couple of years you are going to be taking the very similar coursework to computer science students in addition to also taking a data science course which is one of the most uh, celebrated courses on campus and that is where you will meet all sorts of majors because it is such a big part of the interdisciplinary nature of the College of Letters and Sciences. The data science curriculum is still up and coming but it is a very celebrated part of by staff members in particular is spearheaded by two very well-known Berkeley professors who take a lot of initiative to make sure that data science curriculum is supported and data science students are supported in the school. One of the differences between the computer science and the data science curriculum is the GPA cutoff that is required because the data science curriculum is a 2.0 GPA out of 4.0 while the computer science requires 3.0 overall with the 3.3 and the three particular classes that were aforementioned. So one of the options for students that are still trying to find their way or have not been able to meet the cutoff for computer science is to join either data science or applied mathematics or cognitive science, which are all majors under the College of Letters and Sciences. So you might be wondering, what does the application process look like? So once you've taken the classes for CS, then you are going to be able to petition. You can write a cover letter as to why you should be a computer science major. And same thing goes for data science as well. It, we do have college advisors on campus, so it's imperative for you to talk to them because of the nature of the degree and how you may not be guaranteed classes. You will want to ensure that you talk to them about your options and see how you can space out the degree. That way you are guaranteed to graduate on time. But it is also very popular to stay behind another semester and take classes for whatever classes you needed that you weren't able to take during your four years. Computer science students will have priority for class upper division classes as well, where data science students will not have. So we have multiple phases for our enrollment. Computer science students will get the priority for the first two phases for the computation classes. And again, because you're a data science major, you will have the option to take computational classes and if that is the a pathway that you're interested in more the computational side of data science then it would be interesting to look at some of the uh, computer science lower division requirements as well for example the upper division classes such as artificial intelligence and machine learning do require you to take classes such as discrete mathematics which is not required for the data science major but are required for the computer science major